Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Andre, and I figured you guys liked that other video I did on pastrami, so I thought I would carry that theme along and take this beautiful pork belly and treat it the same way. And let's make some uh, pastrami bacon. But before we uh, take this out and trim it up, we're gonna make the brine actually first because this is the easy part to trim this down. And uh, let's get right to it. This is really the hard part because we've got all these different spices and I'm gonna weigh them out. But what I'm gonna do, just to make it easier, all the whole spices I'm gonna weigh out separately because I am gonna grind them up in the spice grinder. And everything which is ground already, I'm gonna do separately as well, just to make it easier and faster. Tear that. And like always, I weigh out the salt separately. Okay, I got my trusty uh, little pail here. What we're gonna do, just dump all this in first and then fill it up with water. It's got the markings on here. I'm gonna use, we're gonna, I think four liters should be enough today. Get this dissolved. And then we're just gonna add everything else in here as we go. I do recommend when you're doing this, I have my uh, recipe list all figured out already. This way you don't have to waste your time. Figure it out ahead of time. That way you can just go down the list and check off. Ding. Because otherwise, if you try and do it any other way, you might forget, you might put too much. This way I know exactly what I've done and it, it all just works. So I'm gonna whip through this real fast. And I'm gonna just dump them in right away. And I like doing it this way because I keep track of everything, but it's also repeatable. I can repeat this time and time again, and I know it's always gonna work out because I have a recipe, I follow it, and I can scale it up or down, and I will put it below, and you'll see why, because I do it the amount of spice per liter. So I'm, I have four liters here, so I just multiply everything by four, it gives me my total, and away you go. Now you don't have to grind it up. I like to grind it up just because I break all the pieces into small bits and you get all that. You try and extract as much flavor as you can while they're in here soaking in the, in the brine. I'm gonna show, oh. I'm gonna show you on this camera. That's how I want it. It's nice and still coarse, but everything's broken down nice and small. And I'm gonna just jump this into here. And then do the other half. And now, carefully, there's one thing I did almost forget. Bourbon. I put it in, it just adds to the whole flavor and uh, I'm gonna keep doing it. Ooh. Mm? There, now I'm done. I'm just gonna let this hang out behind me for a bit and uh, we're gonna just get set up and trim down the belly and then get these two together. I don't know if you guys have watched it, but I'll put the link above. I did take the capicola piece and make a pastrami out of that. So I figured why not do it with a piece of bacon, pork belly. I think it's gonna turn out fine. I'm excited because I like pork belly. I like eating it. I know all you do too. So we're just trimming off the ends, square it off a bit. I'm gonna just trim the 
I'm gonna take this side off because there's a big chunk of fat I don't want on here. And if you like St. Louis ribs, the ribs, you can actually see where they were right here. This is where they've been taken off at the slaughterhouse. I'm just checking for bones. Run your fingers over. No, we're good. Don't feel anything, no cartilage. And I am taking the rind off because I don't like how the rind goes when we smoke it. It just doesn't turn out very well. But I am saving the rind for something else, so watch out for that. And you want to use a nice sharp knife and hold the blade up into the skin. If you cut, you'd rather cut the skin a few pieces than go down and nick the, the belly. Just take your time. This isn't a race. You want to end up with a good product. There we go. Looks great. And I am saving all of this because this is going to be used for a sausage where I get my belly trim from. I keep it all. So got this meat tub here. And carefully, without making too much of a mess, those spices in there we want that all in there oh, I just made enough so it's covered fantastic I'm just gonna cover this uh, with some saran wrap and then leave it in the fridge all week so I'm gonna see you guys next week when we smoke this and taste it I'm, oh, I'm so excited I can't wait I love bacon I love pastrami so why not join the two together Welcome back everybody and uh, it's a week later just got the fire started and smokers getting up to temperature and uh, let's get to the star of the show. I hope you guys are ready because I'm very excited about this and uh, to get this out and finally in the smoker. That's uh, we've also got the rub that we're going to put on it. The coriander, black pepper, mustard seed, and a little bit of red chili flakes. Okay. Just kind of brush off the big spices. We don't want the... Uh... <clears throat> That's done its job. So I'm going to just take the whole spices off. I don't want them on. Well, this looks fantastic. It's beautifully cured, nice and firm. Smells great. You can definitely tell it's cured. There's color change, lovely. I don't normally pat my meat off, like you guys know that, but this is extremely wet because it was in the brine. I don't need all that liquid going into the smoker. I cannot wait. And now we're going to just liberally put the rub on. There's no salt in that because the brine has plenty of salt. You just make it extremely salty and that would just ruin it. And uh, let's just uh, get this into the smoker. <clears throat> There we go. I am going to put the fat side up and we're going to put it across this way. 
Ugh, looks fantastic. Can't wait. And absolutely, there's nothing else we have to do to this, just like this. And in she goes. Okay, this pastrami bacon's in the smoker now. We're going to let it go for two hours. We're going to come back and check on it uh, just to look at it and get the internal temperature because this, we are not cooking like a, a brisket or anything like that. I'm going to do this like hot smoked bacon, which I'll put a link, which means I'm only going to cook it to an internal of 71 degrees Celsius or like 160, 163 Fahrenheit. And then we're going to pull it, let it rest, slice it, and try it. I'm excited. I can't wait. We're just over two hours and let's take the first look. Ooh, Ooh that's looking nice. But I am gonna take the temperature. I just wanna know where we're at. We hit 70 degrees. I'm gonna let it go for another 15 minutes and then we're gonna pull it. You guys ready? The moment of truth. It's been uh, resting for like 45 minutes and uh, let's uh, cut some up and taste this. And I get to use my knife again. I love it. I'm just gonna cut this in half and uh, show you guys. Ho, ho, ho. Hopefully that focuses. Oh, beautiful, totally smells like pastrami, nice and juicy. Wow. Let me get you a better view. Wow, pastrami bacon, everybody. Getting hot, where we go. I just ended up cutting them in half just to fry them off better, but they're done. I'm gonna just take one. That's so good. Pastrami bacon. Love it. That's that's fantastic. Well, for me, this is a huge success on, on this experiment. Turned out fantastic. Uh, well worth all that work you have to do and let it cure all week. But you got to let it cure anyways, if, even if you're just doing regular bacon. So why not throw some extra flavor in there? Maybe not do this all the time, but have this as a special occasion. Fantastic, I love it. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I will put the, the recipe below on exactly what I did. And I want you to try it, go. Just do it, it's not hard. Have fun with it and eat something really good. That being said, thanks for watching and happy eating.